수업이 한창 진행 중인 교실 안. 그런데 스스럼 없이 간식을 꺼내 먹습니다. Okay. So we've got... 한국이라면 상상도 못할 상황이죠. 어수선에서 수업이 될까 싶지만 염려와 달리 수업을 경청하는 아이들의 집중도가 높습니다. 이번 시간은 타인에게 자신의 생각을 논리적으로 이야기하는 말하기 수업입니다. Hi, my name is Bailey, and today I'll be presenting you my speech on our choice, and I decided to do my favorite basketball player. His name is Stephen Curry. Stephen Curry is an NBA player for the Golden State Warriors. So I think that's the thing that they're going to say. What about volume? Thank you for listening to my speech about Stephen Curry. I hope you enjoyed it. Good timing. 발표가 끝나자 반 친구들은 솔직하고 가감 없는 평가들을 쏟아냅니다. All of it was very interesting and exciting the way she said everything and explained it. It almost looked like he was like misinterpreting. I sat off us. I knew I met when as soon as I started the thing I was like oh no I messed up the start. It was humbling. And it was because yeah because like it was like really fast so it was like Well done. Thank you very much. Excellent. Good job. 이 수업에선 날카로운 구두 평가뿐 아니라 친구에게 직접 점수를 주는 권한까지 아이들에게 주어집니다. They then learn to organize their ideas in a way that they can present them clearly to other people. It is also about the confidence to speak in front of people. 세계 토론 대회 4년 연속 우승이란 기록이. 바로 이런 수업 비법에서 나온 것인데요. 서로의 부족한 점을 이끌어주며 아이들 스스로 발전하도록 돕는 학습법. 이것이 바로 PBL입니다. 뉴질랜드는 다양한 스포츠 활동과 예술 교육의 비중이 높습니다. 그런데 일반 수업도 노는 것만큼이나 재미있다는데요. As part of that, we're going to do our project on the playgrounds. They would like a design of some eco structures made by us. 친환경적 놀이터를 디자인하라는 프로젝트가 주어진 이 수업은 바로 수학 시간입니다. 아이들은 먼저 부피 재는 법부터 공부합니다. Calculate the volume of each piece of furniture. Which piece has the greatest volume? Okay, 1.95 length. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 1.95 length. The length. You said the width. It's 1.95 is the width. 친구들과 서로 의논해 가며 문제를 푸니 암기식 공부보다 수학의 원리가 더 쉽게 다가옵니다. Using their skills from measurement and mass and shape, we was getting them to get a feel for what their structure would be like in terms of size to make it appropriate to play on. Because um, Brooks, Brooks been trying to work it out. She's having having lots of trouble. Have you girls got a calculator here? 아이들 스스로 문제를 풀다 막히면 이렇게 선생님이 도움을 받습니다. 선생님은 수업의 조력자일 뿐 스스로 해답을 찾아 나가는데요. 방법을 터득한 아이들은 주변 친구들까지 도와줍니다. You have to use this thing right here. You've got to decode a calculator. But you get it. Okay, right. Do this. 190 divided by 25. PBL 학습에서 공부는 경쟁이 아닌 협력해 함께 배우는 것입니다. Um, well, they were having trouble, and Robin said that I might need to go and help them, so I explained it to them, so they would understand. I would say that all schools in New Zealand would um, use PBL. The deep learning was the part that was kind of missing in the past. We could we could all have grab a bit of knowledge, and we could all understand a little bit about it. But if you wanted to take it further, you have to then start thinking about, okay, we need higher order, you know, questioning. 이제 상상력에 색깔을 입힐 차례입니다. 학교 주변을 돌며 사진을 찍는 아이들. 친환경 놀이터에 들어갈 자연의 이미지를 찾아 나선 건데요. 조를 나누어 친구들과 함께 이미지를 사진에 담아오도록 했습니다. What should we try? Turn the bush, take one of the bush, because it's more of a like that. Um, oh yeah, you could make like a roof, kind of like the shape of a bush. 답답한 교실에서 벗어나 
직접 부딪히고 생각하며 자신들만의 놀이터를 만들어 갑니다. You could do like a design of just a small clover or something as well. Yeah. yeah. Is oh, that part of it? Well, if we can make that for a roof and then like that, but for like the bottom. Yeah. 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 누구 한 사람만의 아이디어가 아닌 함께 의논하며 만들어가는 놀이터 프로젝트. 아이들은 그 속에서 소통을 배웁니다. 자 이제 다음 과제가 주어졌습니다. 각자 선택한 식물로 놀이터 디자인을 완성해보는 것인데요. 헤일린의 조는 해바라기를 선택했습니다. 과연 어떤 놀이터가 완성될까요? And you could have like little sun, like you could lie on these if they weren't so fluffy. Oh yeah, this could be hard and like have little sun. You could lie on them. Or you could have it on the on the ground and um like so like you said on the ground, and it could before like be a trampoline on the ground. Oh yeah, a little trampoline. And when you want to get off, you can slide down. 서로의 의견이 더해지니 상상력에 날개가 달립니다. 프로젝트 학습인 PBL은 이렇게 창의력을 성장시킵니다. The sunflower trampoline and other stuff yesterday, and I did a little seating area inside that you can maybe have your lunch or morning tea, and um, also did a swing off the tree. I think with PBL, I think we base a lot of our learning on children's abilities. And working at their pace and their um, levels and groups together, teaching each other. And traditional learning, all children are given the same information. Some are not ready for it. Some it's too easy for. So you're allowed. You can work to the child's ability level and provide what they need. Swing at it. Just a nice. No. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. To Sherlock. Oh. 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 Go, Scarlett. No, we get a little. No, 프로젝트 학습에선 1등도 꼴등도 없습니다. 공부는 점수로 환산된 성적이 아닌 아이들의 먼 미래를 성장시켜줄 자질과 능력을 키워주는 힘이라 믿기 때문이죠. And unless you have some experience in problem-based learning, in sort of going from not knowing what to do to figuring out what to do, and then having other people work with you to be able to do it effectively, and then to sit back and say, well, what did we do right? What did we do wrong? How do we do it better next time? Um, you're going to be useless in the 21st century. If you can learn it in school, so can a computer. We need to be able to do things that computers can't do.